hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet now let's solve these two problems from Hibbler dynamics and the problem says that the train passes point b with a speed of 20 meter per second which is decreasing at a rate of minus 0.5 meter per second square determine the magnitude of acceleration of the train at this particular point so we have this train and we are given the velocity of the train at point B and its magnitude is 20 meter per second. Uh, so the solution of problem 12, 149. So we are given the velocity of the train at point B that is equal to 20 meter per second and the tangential acceleration is given that is minus 0 0.5 meter per second square. Now we have to determine, we have to find the magnitude of the acceleration. So the magnitude of the acceleration can be determined by using the Pythagoras theorem. So that will be equal to a n square. That is the normal component of the acceleration plus the, the square of the tangential component of the acceleration. And then we need to take the square root. So for this, we need to find the normal component of the acceleration, which will be equal to v b square divided by the radius of curvature at point b. Now we know the radius of curvature equation. This equation is equal to 1 plus dy by dx squared to the power 3 divided by 2 divided by d square y by dx squared, the absolute value of the second derivative of the path function. So from this equation, we can find the radius of curvature at point B. Now we are given the y as a function of x which is equal to 200 e to the power x divided by 1000. Now we need to take the first derivative that is dy by dx. So this will be equal to 200 e to the power x divided by 1000. And then we need to take the derivative of the power. So that will give us 1 divided by 1000. So 1 divided by 1000. Multiply by 1 divided by 1000. So this dy by dx will be equal to 200 divided by 1000 will give us 0 0.2 e to the power x divided by 1000. So this is dy by dx. Now, if you want to find dy by dx value, we need to put the x value. And now the x value at point B is 400 meter. This is given. So if, if we substitute x equals to 400 in this equation, we will be able to find dy by dx at that particular x value so now let's find that value that will be uh, let me put it here that will be dy by dx equals to 0 0.2 e to the power 400 divided by a thousand so let's find this this is 0 0.2 into e to the power 400 divided by a thousand so this gives us dy by dx value at x equals to 400 meter is equal to 0 0.298 uh, so this is 0 0.298 right and it's uh, it's unitless it's unitless since dy by dx is the ratio of the distances now we need to find the second derivative that is d square y by dx so we need to integrate this once again so let me write that the the second derivative of this will be d square y by dx square and this will be equal to again 0 0.2 e to the power x divided by 1000 and then the derivative of the power will be 1 divided by 1000 so multiply by 1 divided by 1000 so this will be equal to 0 0.2 divided by 1000 and then if you want to find d square y divided by dx square the second derivative value at x equals to 400 we need to substitute this x value here so that will be equal to e to the power 400 divided by 1000. So this will be uh, 0 0.2 divided by 1000 multiply by e to the power 400 divided by 1000. So this gives us 0 0.000298. Now, now if we substitute this this value in this equation and this value here so we will get the radius of curvature at point b at x equals to 400 
So the radius of curvature at point B is 1 plus 0.298 squared to the power 3 divided by 2 divided by 0 0.000298. So now let's find this. This will be 1 plus 0 0.298 squared to the power 3 divided by 2. This is 3 divided by 2 divided by 0 0.000298. So this gives us the radius of curvature at point B equals to 3812.486 meters. So this is the radius of curvature at point B. Now once we know the radius of curvature at point B, we can put the value in this equation and we will be able to find the normal component of the acceleration. So the normal component of the acceleration at B will be equal to Vb square. Vb is given that is 20 square divided by the radius of curvature which is 3812.486. So this is 20 square divided by 3812.486. So this gives us the normal component of acceleration equals to 0 0.105 meter per second square. Now to find the magnitude of the resultant, we can use this equation. So the magnitude of the acceleration will be equal to, so a n square that is 0 0.105 square plus the tangential component magnitude. So that is 0, minus 0 0.5 square. So minus 0 0.5 square. So this is equal to uh, 0 0.105 square plus 0 0.5 square. Minus 0 0.5 square and 0 0.5 square doesn't matter. It will give us the same answer. So this is equal to 0 0.511 meter per second square. So this is the solution of uh, problem 12149. Now for the second problem that is problem 12150 we will need uh, this radius of curvature value. So there is no need to repeat this. This um, uh, radius of curvature at B equals to 38, uh, 12.486 is valid for the second problem. Now the second problem says that the train passes point A with a speed of 30 meter per second and begins to decrease its speed at a constant rate of minus 0 0.25 meter per second square determine the magnitude of the acceleration of the train when it reaches point B where the distance traveled from A to B is 412 meters. Now we are given the velocity of the train at point A. So now let's say that VA is now given. Let me write that VA is now given which is equal to 30 meter per second is equal to 30 meter per second and the tangential acceleration is given so that is uh, minus 0 0.25 meter per second square and we have to find the magnitude of acceleration when the distance from a to b is 412 meters so now uh, we need to find the normal acceleration again since the tangential acceleration is given again so we need to determine the the normal component of the acceleration so that will be equal to vb square divided by rho b so in this particular problem we are given va so we have to find vb right so in the first problem the vb was given directly but in the second problem vb is not given so first of all we have to find vb we can use the same radius of curvature value from the previous problem that is 3812. So the major task is to find a VB. So now we know uh, the tangential acceleration. So we can apply the kinematics equation that is VdV equals to ATDS. So now if I integrate both sides of equation, so we know AT value. We know this AT value which is minus 0 0.25. So now let's write this is uh, minus 0 0.25 ds so the in the the initial velocity is 30 right this is the initial velocity is 30 so we need to integrate this from 30 to v and this is from 0 to s right so now if we integrate this so this will give us v squared divided by 2 and this is from 30 to v and the derivative of this will be minus 0 0.25 into s right so 
if I multiply both sides of equation by 2, if I multiply this side and this side by 2, so we will have v square from 30 to v and 0 0.25 into 2 will give us uh, 0.5. So this is minus 0 0.5 into s. Now let's put the limits on the left hand side. So that will be v square minus 30 square equals to minus 0 0.5 into s and v square will be equal to 30 square minus 0 0.5 s and if you want to find the velocity so that will be 30 square minus 0 0.5 s and then we need to take the square root so now from a to b the distance traveled is as a b which is equal to 412 so if we substitute s equals to 412 so that will give us the velocity at point b so we can say that the velocity at point b is 30 square minus 0 0.5 into SAV value which is 412 so this is 412 so now we need to take the square root so this is 30 square minus 0 0.4 uh, minus 0 0.5 into 412 so this gives us VB equals to 26.344 meter per second now once we know VB we can substitute that VB value here and we can substitute that uh, radius of curvature at point B. So we will be able to find AN. So now we can say that AN is equal to VB square which is 26.344 square divided by that radius of curvature value which is 3812.486. This is uh, 20, 26.344 square divided by 3812.486 so this gives us an equals to 0 0.182 meter per second now the magnitude of the acceleration will be equal to again that will be equal to a n square plus a t square under the square root using that Pythagoras theorem. So now a n is 0 0.182 square plus the tangential acceleration is uh, uh, minus 0 0.25. This is given, right? So this is minus square under the square root. So this will give us uh, 0 0.182 square. Uh, plus 0 0.25 square so this gives us the magnitude of the acceleration at point b for the second problem is 0 0.309 meter per second square so this is the solution of these two problems i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning